welcome to Barcelona, the capital city of Catalonia and the second most populous city in Spain. In this episode, we'll show you some of the tourist hotspots, but more so some of the popular places for locals to hang out. Right now, we're at one of such places and we'll come back here later to find out more about this place. First, let's head into the city. La Rambla, probably the most famous street in central Barcelona. This pedestrian street is lined with trees on both sides and runs from the Plaza de Catalunya to Port Fel. La Rambla can be very crowded and it's one of those streets where you have to be careful of the pickpockets. At the northern end of La Rambla lies this important square, Plaza de Catalunya. Connecting several main streets, it's generally considered to be the city center. The square covers an area of roughly 50,000 square meters and is especially known for its abundance of fountains and statues. The Parque de la Citadella is a park on the northeastern edge of Ciudad Vela. For decades following its creation in the mid-19th century, this park was the city's only green space. The 70-acre grounds include the city zoo, the Palau del Parlamento de Catalunya, a small lake, museums, and a large fountain designed by Josep Fonseré. Here is a good look on that fountain, which is commonly known as the Cascada, meaning waterfall. The original structure was designed by Josep Fonseré and his student, Anthony Gaudi, who of course became one of the most famous architects to have ever lived. In the center of the fountain, there's a statue of Venus in a clamshell. On top of the ark, Aurora rides in her chariot. The park is super tranquil and offers plenty of spots for an afternoon picnic or some drinks with friends. It's one of our favorite places to hang out in Barcelona. So, we're back at the same location where we started, the Bunkers del Carmel, locally just referred to as Bunkers. Built as an anti-aircraft fortifications in 1938 during the Spanish Civil War, these days Bunkers offers probably the best view over the city. Its slightly remote location makes it a bit harder to find for tourists, but it's very popular with local youth who come here in big numbers to drink beers in the setting sun. 